Hey everybody, welcome. This is Mr. V and this is Apes Review video topic 8.7 on persistent organic pollutants, otherwise known as the POPs. Okay. So what a persistent organic pollutant is, is the name says it all. It's something that persists in the environment, it lasts for a long time. It's organic, meaning it's a carbon-based molecule of some sort, right? And it's a pollutant that is released into the environment. So the classic example we're going to be mentioning over a few PowerPoints here is DDT, right? This is, and I'll say it just once, dichloro-diphenyl trichloroethane, right? So you don't need to remember that whole name. Just remembering DDT will probably be enough for you. But DDT was a very famous uh, pesticide that we used uh, for a very long time in the United States. Um, and what happens is this thing tends to uh, get into the environment and stay for a very long time. Um, so this DDT ends up accumulating in the tissues and then going up further and further and further. And as you can see in the numbers here, it starts to increase much, much more each level of the food chain and food web. So we'll talk about that in future PowerPoints, but that's an important factor to think about. So DDT is a big example of this. Um, and so besides the fact that you see them stick around for a long time, they also can travel a really far distance. So even though there are no mosquitoes and no need to use a pesticide like DDT in the Arctic or the Antarctic, we have found polar bears and penguins that have DDT in their tissues. So it's a fat soluble uh, chemical because of the fact that it's a nonpolar carbon, right? And so that ends up building up in our tissues. And so not only is it, the fact that it stays for a very long time allows it to travel big distances. So there are organisms all over the world that still have DDT inside of them. And then here's the other catch too, even though the United States has banned DDT use, there are still countries um, all over the world that still use DDT, either for mosquito control or for pest control in their food products. So um, that's an important factor to think about as well. So there are some more links to look at those um, if you'd like to learn about DDT and other things. So hopefully those will be helpful and hopefully this is helpful. Thank you.